two values. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Kijana was in his second year at a university near London. One day he received a terrible phone call. He learned that his father was sick, so he immediately took a flight back to his hometown, Nairobi, Kenya. A week later, he returned to England and made an announcement to his roommate, Matt. Matt, I'm afraid I have to go back to live in Kenya. What? You're going to quit school? My father had a heart attack. He's getting better, but the doctor told him that he can't work. I have to go back and help manage our family business. Your father ordered you to go back? Is that what you want? No, I don't like the family business. I'd rather study. Actually, my father said to stay here if I wanted, but some other relatives insisted I go back. Your relatives are being unfair. Don't give in to family pressure. You need to stand up for yourself. My biggest responsibility is to my family. I understand that your family is important to you, but you owe it to yourself to keep studying. You can't help your father by giving up your future. Thanks for caring, but I can't be selfish at a time like this. Listen in. We learn many of our values from our family. Listen to Patricia, Ravi, and Nicole talk about the values they learned from their families. Which values do they talk about? Write P, R, or N next to the words. Patricia, Mexican, age 15. When I was a child, one thing I was not allowed to do was lie. I was always told that lying is worse than stealing. My mother used to say that by telling the truth, we show respect to ourselves and respect to other people. Once, my mother caught me telling a lie. She told me that when you lie, you are being dishonest with the person you are lying to and you are being dishonest with yourself. And that is the worst thing of all. I learned the values of honesty and respect from my mother. Ravi, Indian, age 32. From the time I was a child, I was told to act like a gentleman. There was a rule in our house that my brother and I should not fight over small things, like sharing toys. It wasn't until I was older that I understood the value of thinking about the important things, not little things that don't matter like fighting over toys. My family taught me to value manners and cooperation, things I use in my life every day now. Nicole, New Zealander, age 60. I grew up on a horse farm in New Zealand. When I was 10 years old, I wanted my own pony. I promised my parents that I would take care of it and be responsible for it. Finally, they gave me one. It was a lot of work, and after a few weeks, I told my parents that they could have the pony back. They said that I had asked for the pony and I had to take care of it. Later, I realised that my parents taught me the value of keeping promises and being responsible. Find out more. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Masaki Yoshida teaches English at a cram school. I help students pass university entrance exams. I sometimes worry about them and their futures because they don't know what they want to study in college or what kind of job they want in the future. A lot of my students go to college because their families expect them to. Many of them think that once they pass the entrance exam, their future is guaranteed. That's a mistake. I tell them, passing an entrance exam is just the beginning. 
To find a satisfying career, you have to be able to answer the following questions. What do you want to learn about? What lifestyle do you want? What are your goals? When I was younger, learning English and meeting people from other countries helped me think about my values and my future. I hope that my teaching can do the same for some of my students. Unit 2. Wrap up. Prepare a short presentation on one of the topics below. Use the language and ideas that you have learned in this unit. Share your ideas with other students. Topics. Leading an adventurous, stable, modern, traditional lifestyle. Making a difficult decision. Someone who taught me about right and wrong. An experience that made me think about values. An experience that made me change my mind. A family member who changed my life. My favorite memory and what it taught me. Something I want to accomplish in the future.